ball by Hurricane Maradona. But they return now to a team which uh, we understand is also enhanced by Valencia's sturdy midfield man, Eva Banega. And Spain, naturally enough, start with a majority of players who played some part in the World Cup final. Fabregas over the ball there, he came into uh, that side with Villa, who was so potent throughout the main competition. And the notion of a prestige friendly was designed for a night like this. World famous venue, world renowned hosts, world champion visitors. Plenty of points to play for competitively all over Europe tonight, but there is no bigger boxer. Zanetti. Good for all Argentine supporters to uh, see him back in the mix. Lifted over the top, and the flag has stayed down, and Raiders in trouble, and Argentina should have the lead, and no one knows that better than Carlos Tevez. That's a square back four for Spain. Just hooked in. Love the little ball there, clipped over. First touch is not brilliant from Tevez, could probably have taken it on it. Here they come with Messi. And again. And Reiner is beaten, and the world champions are behind. And it's the little maestro. With a magical feather-like touch. He couldn't score throughout the World Cup finals in South Africa. But back home on Argentine soil, Argentina's favourite son has taken just 10 minutes to score against the champions of the world. Well, he starts it off actually, they run down a bit of an alley there, uh, Lionel Messi, Lionel Messi, but it's a, you know, it's a very unusual Spanish back four, it's by far the, uh, anything but the strongest, but you know, no, nobody picked him up there and Tevez just picks him out, it's completely clear, it's the second time they've been caught short at the back, but you've just got to watch this and you've just got to applaud this, that's a wonderful, wonderful finish. Cheeky, I've got to say, but brilliant. It is one of those messy moments where you ask, how has he done that? To give the ball just over the line, while somehow taking all the pace off it. In all fairness, Peter, I think the angle just been against him and Reina coming out. You see the yellow card been administered, but it's probably the only thing in South Africa. Fears strike. Jabalani no longer an available excuse for whom this game, every game, is an audition. He hasn't been promised the job full time. And uh, it's not a bad line on one CV to be beating the world champions. And it's a lead that they could double here, Argentina. And two with an absolutely terrific finish from Iguain. Less than a quarter of an hour played in the River Plate. And Argentina are two to the good against the greatest in the planet. Well, again, it's just a square back four. I've spoken about it already. No Ramos, no Cap de Villa. TK really the only one that's irregular in there. No Casillas in goal out either, but I'm not saying that. It's Pepe Reina, one of the best around. Thought he'd pushed it a bit wide there, Ego and That's a terrific finish because. I honestly felt the chance had gone with this touch, but he just dinks it over. I think PK sliding back in. But again, it's just a simple. Busquets. Silva. Iniesta. That's a very good try from Villa. And to Romero sprawling across his goal. Well, the keeper wasn't getting there. I mean, he hasn't looked like getting in behind David Villa, but it was a lovely little touch from Iniesta, just first time. And
Oh, terrible moment for Reina. 3 0. Awful, awful for the poor Liverpool goalkeeper whose feet simply disappeared beneath him so that Carlos Tevez had an empty net to fill. Poor Pepe Reina rarely gets a glimpse of a chance in the Spanish team. And tonight he may wish he had never had that chance. Nightmare. Carlos Tevez scored the goal, by the way. Well, all credit to him for, for pouncing on it. I've got to say, I'm not sure about the ponytail, but that's for a different day. Pepe Reina just, you know, it happens to even the best. Under no pressure whatsoever. He's looking up, where am I going to play it? Where am I going to play it? Loses the right foot. Tevez is a good, what, five or six yards away. Can't get himself up quick enough. And once he slides in there, Tevez gets contact, still takes a deflect. And here he is, staring down the barrel of certainly his worst result. Certainly his worst result. I can only remember one strike from Spain in the first half from David Villa from 25, 30 yards that cracked the crossbar. I think that's been it. Here again, deflection, good save, and the post driven back in. Was it an eight say who's got over there? Who's polaxed? Argentina's certainly a man down. There's no uh, obligation for Spain to stop, but uh, sportingly, I suppose it is a friendly game. Sportingly, they have stopped. Alonso, that's a really good take and a uh, hefty drive from Silva, which is uh, deflected up. <laughs> Half time, an impossibly good goal from Lionel Messi, an impossibly bad one conceded by Reina to Tevez. Between those, one from Iguain. Do not adjust your sets. The half time score in Buenos Aires. Oh. The referee showed a couple of yellow cards in the first half. That uh, gets the second half up. That's uh, floated with just too much elevation by Cesc Fabregas. Montreal. By Cathola. High from Montreal. Nice first touch from Navas, he's made himself half a yard, great delivery! And uh, header wide from Llorente, but uh, Navas has injected that little special something that he has. Well, he has, he's a pacey, quick player, didn't quite see his speed here, but just his quick feet in a tight area, Tevez getting back. David Villa off, so Llorente on, completely different player altogether, big target man who... Mascherano always simple. Messi, not necessarily so. Came back to Banega, rolled through for Esteban Cambiasso, and hit with some force by uh, Higuain. Requiring Valdez to go across and get a touch. Yeah, it was a great touch at that, brilliant play. Messi going off the left, some great first-time football. Banega with a little ball in there. Great awareness from Cambiasso. Don't see him in that position too many times. Round about the edge of the box, predominantly a holding midfielder, but great awareness, just really teed it up for Higuain and a wonderful touch from Ignono. Just the English Premier League, but certainly uh, a few concerns. That's a clever try. It's uh, wide from uh, Xavi Alonso. Who is uh, one of several. Expecting to go back and be involved in league action at the weekend. Real Madrid play Osasuna on Saturday. Xavi. Navas. I'd say rather committed himself there. And uh, Navas has whipped in another dangerous looking ball. And here's Cathola. And still. And Alonso. And eventually a drive lifted over by Xavi. But Spain is certainly better. They've certainly been better since half time. Might have an opportunity for Cazola to hit it a little bit earlier. Maybe just on the volley on the left foot, just there. Mascherano. 
Messi. Off he goes. That's beautifully done for Messi. Oh, 4 0. Or so it might have been, but for the uplays flag against Di Maria. And from a neutral perspective, you have to say that's a great shame because Messi's run was amongst his mercurial best. And what. got into trouble, Navas swept it across, Xavi has it now, here's Jesus Navas, neither one thing nor t'other. Well, second chance in the second half, first one for Lorente early on from the header, this is an excellent one as well, they were a bit sloppy out. Llorente. Hey! It's a cumbersome challenge uh, on the Edge of the penalty area, the very edge of the penalty area by Dimitrelis on Pedro. Xavi. Got the top brick in the wall. And back in by Cathola, touched onto his crossbar by Romero. Here's Xavi again. And uh, in fairness to Spain, though, they certainly were outplayed in the first half. And uh, on the balance of play, merited the uh, big deficit they were facing. They there goes Navas. Llorente. Xavi. Pasola. Oh, it's another really good get from uh, Argentina's goalkeeper, Sergio Romero. Against the tour, obviously England struggled. Pola, Monreal, Llorente turning and scoring. A little late in the day, but it's a start for Spain. They have uh, six and a half minutes to do it twice more and drag something home from what looked like an immensely unpromising situation. Well, he fluffed his lines. Much earlier on a, on a much easier chance, a header from six yards. This is extremely difficult. I think it beats the keeper because he's unex, you know, he's not expecting it and he's got his back to him, Lorente. For such a big fella, he does really well sorting his feet out, gets a couple of touches. Don't know quite if he means choices going forward. Spain on the charge again, and with men over, here is Jesus Navas. Smuggled off the line by Dubicelis. The uh, world champions, fair play to them, a pale version of themselves. They might have been for much of the evening, but they're giving a rattle right at the end here. Iguain scored from in the first half, he couldn't quite get it in, he was well blocked in the end. See. Even by his extraordinary standards, he left himself just a little bit too much to do. He's capable of sh executing shooting angles that others would consider impossible. Just a little body swerve when he gets in here. Just watch him how he just drops his shoulder here. I'd say, oh, they have their fourth. Kun Aguero, as the clock ticked over 90 minutes, rising to beat Ense's cross, and to put the icing on a pretty sumptuous cake for Argentina. It's a night no one here will forget in a hurry. The night Argentina humbled the world champions. Messi, Higuain, Tevez and Aguero. Four big-name strikers, four memorable goals.
That's probably as good as it's ever going to get for Argentina against the world champions. There's no doubt about that. This has been something they would have dreamt of beforehand. They would have known it was going to be a tough game, even though it's a friendly. And he's not the tallest Aguero. A lot of clubs looking at him. It's not what we expected, but it was worth watching and enjoying. Argentina at their very best, four memorable goals. Spain better in the second half, but the world champions well beaten. 4-1 in Buenos Aires. That rarest of nights when as a Spaniard it might be better to be...